Hello, I'm Trey and welcome to another of my colouring tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to try and create a, a bubble effect with these circles on this design. And it's a design from Halloween Fantasy Colouring Book by Molly Harrison. And um, I thought I'd try and do some, some kind of bubble effect, but I'm trying to do it with just pencils. Now, I've seen a lot of people do really interesting effects with white gel pens where they put highlights in, but I'm going to try and do it without that because I don't have a gel, white gel pen. For this design, I'm going to be using Arteza pencils and um, I'm going to be doing the bubbles for this design I'm working on in pink and a dark purple. So I've got a pale pink, I'm using the 401 in the Arteza pencils, a medium pink, which is a 404 in the Arteza pencils, and a dark purple, the 413 in the Arteza pencils. However, whatever set of pencils you want to use, it's just the similar colours pale pink, a medium pink and a dark purple. The first thing I'm going to use is the white pencil because I want to highlight um, the lighter sections which won't be coloured in. Now I'm going to do this one here because it's the only one that's big enough that's a nearly a full circle with this design. The others are either only half circles or too small. So I thought I'll do this one, which looks a little bit bigger. And I want to put a co uh, two or three highlights that I won't be colouring in. So I want to put one near the top of the circle or the bubble. And you won't be able to see this, but hopefully you'll be able to see what kind of shape I'm doing. It's like a, an arch. That's my first. The second one I want to do a highlight is just like a, a round, small round circle, round about here on the other side, nearly opposite, but not right up to the edge. And the last highlight I want to do at the bottom of this uh, uh, bubble circle, and it's, again, it's just an arch. So they're the three highlights and hopefully I'll be able to see those highlights when I come to colour in. So now I'm going to cover up all of the uh, bubble shape in the palest pink but not going over the white highlights. I'm going to go around those white highlights but colour in the rest of the shape. We're only using a light pressure. Now you'll be able to see the white sections a bit better now I've got a bit of colour down. And the everything I'm doing with these layers is in light pressure so I can slowly layer it up and blend it and soften up the sections I need to. So now I'm going to go and put in the medium pink. I'm going to put a medium pink line along this edge of the bubble. I'm highlighting that curve. I'm going to do the same at this edge of the bubble. Of course, with this leaf being here, it'll 
break the uh, the shape a little bit but we'll go around that So it's almost like those two highlights are on the opposite side of the bubble, round about approximately. And then this highlight at the top, I'm going to go around that highlight, the edge of it, with my medium pink, and extend a little bit, just a little bit down from it. And at this, underneath that highlight, I'm going to just extend the medium pink in a kind of like an arch effect. And a little bit more above. Just adjusting it really to see if it looks all right. Now I'm going to soften those lines up with my lightest pink that I used earlier. And this is the colour that covers the whole of the bubble. Just a light pressure. overlapping the medium pink you've just put down. Now I'm going to use the dark purple. And I'm going to go over the medium pink, but just slightly, right on the edge of where I highlighted, you know, darkened in this section, this part of the bubble, along that edge. And the same on the other side, along that edge, the opposite edge. And now I'm going to go around that section, top section of the highlight at the top with the purple, just lightly. And the highlight almost like a, I would do an eye, just the corner. And then taper that down a little bit. And using the medium pink, I'm going to soften and extend that shady section. Just a little bit, just take the uh, harsh edges off. And then go over the uh, Darken sections around the edges, soften it up again.
then using my palest pink I'm going to go over all the pale pink section and overlapping slightly with the medium pink again just to soften it up blend it in a little bit Now I'm going to do a blend with a blender pencil. I'm going to just gently blend from the light towards the dark sections. Smooth it out a little bit. And all the time I've been colouring this, I've left those white sections and not gone over them because they're my highlights. Now this um, is the start of what I feel is a, a bubble effect and obviously um, it's going to need more layers but I think that gives people an idea of how to create a bubble effect without having to use a white gel pen. You can still do it with pencils. So keeping the Create your white highlights, colour around them with your palest pink or palest colour and then just darkening as I've done in the video and keep on doing that until you're happy with the depth of your bubbles. So I hope uh, people have found that useful, uh, got some tips from that. Please do uh, leave any comments and of course check out my Facebook page and you can come and chat on there as well. So I'll say bye for now and see you again in the near future.